I'm Erica, also known as Emonique, and this is my real life. Hang out with me as I side-eye the ups and stumble through the downs. Watch as I turn my tiny piece of the Arizona desert into a tropical oasis. Fight to beat infertility and figure out where I fit as an artist in this crazy creative world. All while awkwardly discovering my authentic self. I'll be talking out loud about the things I wish someone would have said a while ago and sorting through what I wish I didn't know. Who knows? Maybe you can relate as I often ask myself. What a weird fucking Monday. Like, I can't even... This is so weird. I hate... Okay, so... I walk in the office today, and it just felt odd. Like, I walk in and it felt odd. I put my stuff down. I, um... Get ready to, you know, just get ready for the day. Like, I start my morning. I have my morning routine at work. And um, I, start, I put the kettle on. And I'm just like, something feels off. The last time I felt something off was when um, another major event happened. And, girl, what am I trying to say? I can fucking tell when someone has been in my space because everything is just like, I can just tell even if they try hard not to touch anything, even if they try hard to like put stuff back, even if like, I can just tell when the energy is different when like when it's off in or in a space because someone has been there there that, that are not supposed to be someone has like encroached on my space someone has like I can just tell oh there's a chip there okay so the last time that I could tell that was some, something was off it wasn't just the energy but it was like literally like doors were open and closed and I knew something was off and it was because an event was happening and blah 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 um but today was just like what who was in here that's all that I can, that's all that I could think about was like, who was in here and why? Like, weird. What were they doing? Like, that's what it felt like. Who was in here and what were they doing? Because it just felt like suspicious and just like sneaky, like weird energy. I don't know how to explain it. So I put the kettle on. I sit at my desk. I'm just getting ready for the day. I'm like reading the news, like just, you know, chilling first thing this morning. And I go to like make my tea. And I know that this is like really trivial, but I'm going to say it anyways, because I like my personal space. Stay out of my desk. Stay out of my office. Stay out of my drawers. Stay out of my stuff. Don't touch my stuff. Get your own fucking stuff. Don't touch my stuff. That's all that I'm asking. I'm not asking for much. Like, respect my space. That's all. Don't be weird and sneaky about stuff. Like, just keep your, keep your hands off of my stuff, right? And I hate that, like, my space doesn't lock because I'll lock that shit. I'll lock that shit. But I can't lock it because it doesn't lock. Anyways, I go to make my tea and I notice that my tea is messy. Like the top, the cap, like is barely sitting on 
and there's like powder like in the in the cap and I'm like that's messy like I wouldn't do that first of all I don't do that I don't pour like my tea out of the thing I use the scoop okay Ugh. second thing is I have local honey that is expensive as fuck that I, I keep in a very like per, like a specific kind of container for my for my tea and when I picked up my honey container it was like sticky and I'm like why is it leaking so I pick it up and I'm looking I'm like maybe there's a hole in it and so I look and there's like honey in my drawer like a drop of honey in my drawer so it's sticky in my drawer and like there's a stream of honey that was like coming out of the top and I'm like what is happening? So it looked like somebody had unscrewed the top of my honey container, poured it a shit ton out because I also noticed that there was only this much left. And I'm like, the fuck? Where did all my honey go? Um, so they had opened the top, poured the honey out and made a mess around the rim and put the cap back on. And the honey was like coming out of the top, not out of the like, the spout that it's supposed to come out of, but out of like around this, the, the, the top where you screw it. And I'm like, I've never had this problem before. Like, why would I do that? So now I'm in my head, like, why would I leave my shit a mess like this? I never do that. Like what happened? And it just felt like someone was there. Right. And I was like, well, it was over the weekend. So the cleaning person was not there. Um, there's only four people that could have access to the office, right? Me, the other person, the cleaning person, and the landlord. The landlord was just here, so and he doesn't have time for our bullshit, so he doesn't care. I wasn't here over the weekend. The cleaning lady could have been here over the weekend, but she wasn't. I know that for a fact. So that leaves one other person. So I'm just like, it just feels weird in here. And then I realized that I'm having a termite problem next to my desk. So I've got this weird like line of sawdust coming out of the wall right, right by my desk and it's creeping me out. And I'm like, you know, just kind of like when you feel icky, like something might be on you. Nothing's on you, but when you see something icky, you just start freaking out skin wise. And that's how I was. And then a mosquito bit me, and I'm sorry I'm rambling, but all of this is context to how I'm feeling. I'm on high alert, it, I feel weird, like I'm super sensitive today. I'm seeing like termites fucking building their tunnel out of a wall right over my desk, and then a mosquito bit bites me, and I'm just like, ugh, I feel like I wanna cover up. And of course I don't wear a fucking sweater today, so my skin is just out. And then someone has been in the fucking office touching my shit, I hate violating shit like that. I hate it. When I can tell someone has been in my stuff and I don't know who the fuck and what they did and why, I hate that. It's such a violation. I hate it. So that happens. And then I find out, like, I get a notification that one of my favorite clients dies yesterday. She fucking died yesterday. Bruh. Like, I just, I feel weird. I feel weird. I don't feel good. And then so when the other person walks in the office... I'm explaining this to them, like how weird I feel and just like how things are off. And he's just like, oh, how so? And I was like, it's so weird that it's like, I feel like someone was in here. I was going to ask you, were you here over the weekend or something? I'm shaking. I'm sorry. I was like, were you here? Did you drop by the office over the weekend? And he's just like, well, we dropped by for like 30 seconds on Sunday. And I was like, hmm. Hmm. So you were here on Sunday. I knew fucking somebody was here. I could fucking tell. And it was you. And you were here yesterday. It doesn't matter how long. 30 seconds is 30 seconds. That's enough time for you to fuck with my shit. Because I know it was you. I know it was you. And then leave. And you thought that you didn't leave a trace. But I, you left many traces, my friend. Many traces. I hate that. I hate it. And so now I know that their, their hands have been on my stuff. And you know how I feel about other people's dirty hands and touching my shit, especially like food and drink. Now they've been in my fucking tea powder 
and all my expensive ass honey. This isn't honey from the fucking grocery store. This is local honey. It's expensive shit. I had to get away. I'm on lunch. I had to get away. I'm, I'm at Home Depot, my favorite place. I'm at Home Depot and I'm about to walk around the garden. I'm about to get some stuff for some art and I just needed to be out of there. Disgusting. And of course they, he didn't admit anything, but I know it was him. So I just feel like really, like I don't want to be around. Like I, I don't like, it's just awkward now because I, I caught them. Anyways, let me get off here. I'm tripping. <sighs> this right here is peace. It is safety. It is like coming back to me. Like when I come in here, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but I've always kind of like taken so much pride in like wherever I, I live, wherever I call home, it's important to me to just I don't know, just like make it not just a really nice space visually, but to just make it feel like peace and um, familiarity. And like, it just feels like me because I don't know. Sometimes it's really, really hard to be me outside of these walls. And um, like I can feel the, like all the work that I'm doing, trying to like withstand and like be me outside of these walls. I can feel how hard I'm working. Like when I come in here, I just let everything go. Like I just release everything and I feel so tired and I feel so calm and so relaxed but like I'm tired from like holding all of that on to my body and like you know it's a sucky feeling to like go from one extreme to just like okay you're safe now it's it's okay it's okay Yesterday was such a beautiful day. I oh, That's all that I could say all day long was, man, what a perfect Sunday. What a perfect Sunday. It was beautiful outside. I had a wonderful time with my parents and going to like my, one of my favorite places and just letting go and like letting the day kind of take us. It was such a beautiful day. And Saturday was so nice. Um, today was fucking weird. Earlier, like, it probably doesn't make sense to you, and that's fucking fine. It doesn't have to. It's not, it's not, for me, it's not about the very obvious, literal thing. It's not about me, like, I'm not a stingy person. I'm not, like, I can be selfish. I can't. I'm generally like not that way. I just think that there's a way to go about certain things. And in general, there are certain people who just make it their mission to go every other which way, but the certain type of way, decent way to go about things. And that's what pisses me off. And like I said, I don't like sneaky people. All you have to do is ask me and I am willing to give you whatever I have. I'm willing to share with you whatever I have. You just ask me. Just, I just wish people would approach me with like, just like be a normal fucking person. Like you don't have to be weird. And if you feel like you have to be weird about it with me, then that's like all the more reason why you should just stay away from me. Like just don't. Don't even like go there.
but it just feels like such an intrusion and like this is like happening right now it's not just about the tea situation i'm also upset about another bigger situation where i feel intruded on where it's like of all the things that i love this is my thing you are like now trying like now you're trying to make it your thing and like what if I don't want it to be your thing like what if this is my thing and like I let you have a moment where I shared a moment with you and now and now you're like trying to take it and run with it and it's like no no so like when I say it's it's not necessarily literally about the tea and honey aside from Again, this is specific locally harvested honey, very expensive honey that whatever, whatever, whatever. It's just, I don't like the audacity, the, the entitlement, the, the comfort that people have with like just coming into my space or coming into like what makes me me. I want to be the one that invites you into to into my life, into my space, into my situations, into what I love. I want to be able to invite you in. And when you're in, have some fucking home training. And don't like don't wear out your welcome and also like don't get it twisted. You are a guest here. Like don't I know I'm not making sense, but I am to me. So I just, um, I just hate to feel intruded on. And I need to like maybe lay off the word violation because I feel like that's a really strong descriptive word for, for that. And I know that there are more serious things to actually be violated on. Um, I get that, but it just feels like, it just feels icky. So maybe intrusion is like more of how I'm feeling this month already. Well, this month and kind of like last month, I'm feeling encroached upon. It's just like, like my number one thing in life is like, I just want to be left the fuck alone. Like just, unless I invite you, unless I bring it up to you, unless I'm coming with open arms and it's very rare that I do, but when I do, like, that's a whole thing. But if I don't, then just stay away. <sighs> Today was weird. It wasn't just about that. It was like the energy that I felt was so fucking odd. It was that. And it was the, just the, like, in that moment of, like, feeling uncomfortable in my own space it's interrupt that moment is interrupted by like this kind of i don't know nonchalant method of information or i don't know if it was it was conveyed in a way and i'm talking about like one of my clients death um that information was conveyed in a way that felt really nonchalant and just like lack of expression. Now, granted, to be fair, and I'm correcting myself as I'm processing this out loud, but I know more than anybody that people are going to, people are handling things the way that they handle them. And I by no means expect like the person who conveyed the information to like call me bawling you know, about, you know, this person, you know, whatever. Like, I don't know them. I, that's fine. But it was just like, the, maybe, it was the way that I received it. I'll put it back on me. I'll, I'll take the accountability for how I received the message. How I received it in that moment just felt so insignificant and just like, oh yeah, she died. Um, she died yesterday. And I was just like, the way that it like came out of nowhere and hit me was just like it felt small and that bothers me that I received it in a small way and um, 
I don't know. And like the conversations after that were just so like fucking patronizing again. It's like, it's not about you needing to fix me or make me feel better about just learning that another life is, is, is gone. Um, it's not about you needing to do anything. I don't need you to do anything. Like if you need to do something for you, then you do that. But I don't think anybody can get used to, to death. I don't think anybody can get used to hearing information about, you know, just like personalities and, and stories and memories and kindness and, and, and just exchange of, like just exchange. I don't think anybody can get used to just like that no longer existing. Um, and so there was just like this really stupid conversation afterwards that just made me think like, please go away. Like you've done enough. I don't like it's it's a death. Like, what are you going to do? Like, what process would we come up with to to handle that better? Like, what are you talking about? I fucking hate when people just talk out of the side of their fucking ass just to be talking like just go away. You're you um, you irritated me enough. And at this point, I'm shutting down. Not even at this point. Like, the, as, as soon as I confirmed that you did what you did, I'm, I'm, you're like, just, I'm, I'm just here to do the work, get it done, and leave. It's really a really weird feeling, so. I don't know. Uh, I have to look at my calendar. It could very well be, um, it could very well be, I'm probably just going to call it Truth Serum Week because um, like these minor irritants like that, well, I mean, the news of a, a, another client dying is not a minor irritant, but just like the whole thing with the tea and like people going through my shit, that's a minor irritant, but the fact that I feel so irritated about it could mean that um, either I really truly feel encroached upon and like apparently this is something more important to me than I thought like I don't know I, I, I don't know if I'm going to spend too much more time processing it or like thinking about it because I'll just stay upset and I don't want to I don't want to feel this way for very much longer or it could mean that it's truth serum week, which means like my hormones are kind of raging and um, I'm about to, I don't, know. I don't know what my period is gonna be like since I've been taking this stupid birth control, but um, it's I think it's right around that time where I'm supposed to start, so we'll see. Um, I'm not feeling as enraged as I like normally would, but <laughs> It's only fucking Monday, so we'll see how tomorrow goes. Got to get my mind together for that. Tomorrow's a whole different day, but um. Anyways, I'm frustrated because again, this is like I don't know, maybe the third video that I'm working on, but I'm frustrated because I'm behind in posting because my computer and everything is just like not it's not able to hold the amount of content that I have now. And like all, and when I say all, I mean all of my drives are full. All of my drives are full. My cloud is full. My C drive is full, which is not only terrible for like storage and like data, but it's also terrible for my processing, like my, my system processing. It's not able to like do anything because there's no space on it. Like my external hard drive is full, but it's not like it's a small external hard drive. And I didn't realize that, but that's full. My SD card is full, like everything's full. And I'm just frustrated because there's nowhere for me to like move stuff around and make space at this point. So it's just like, I either have to buy another huge external hard drive, which I'm not like, that's not in the budget right now, or I have to delete some content, which I'm really, really struggling with because 
Um, like, I don't, I know that, I know that if I didn't have any videos of like the past couple years or, and I didn't have any pictures that I would still forever remember like my journey, right? With the IVF and everything, but I know that I would. And I know like it's in me, like I lived it. It's my experience, but I'm struggling with the thought of like deleting every documented moment um, from the past couple years, but I'm faced with that in order for me to continue like making videos and stuff, I have to figure out my space. So <sighs> that's where the inconsistency is coming from as far as posting goes. Um, so I'm just feeling pretty, pretty tired from like just not, things not going my way or things not going the way that I expect them to or how they normally do or whatever. So. Anyways, I'm gonna watch some TV and try to relax. I'm gonna get on the computer and see what I can do. Maybe.